Good afternoon, I'm Joni McKinnon. Thank you for watching KTAB for you. As you can see, we're taking uh, advantage of this beautiful weather right outside the KTAB studios because today we have some special guests. Joining me today from the Bureau of Land Management is Crystal Cowan. <laughs> And Bob. Now, this is not the Bob you're used to here on KTAB, but Crystal, you're joining me today. You guys have a huge sale coming up uh, tomorrow and on Saturday at the Glen County Expo. Tell us about this. Yes, we, do. we have a wild horse and burrow adoption, and again, it's at the Expo Center of Taylor County at the Guitar Arena. We'll have over 110 animals there for adoption. So we'll have a good mixture of mares, geldings, yearlings, and donkeys. Uh, for Abilene, we've brought a whole lot of pretty geldings. So we have some pintos, browns, grays, just a really good selection. So 110 wild horses rounded up and brought here to Taylor County. Bob, <laughs> as our example today, you know, he's kind of a, a mascot for he's this like, program though. He certainly is. So Bob was trained, uh, he's gentle, he's just a great example of what can happen with one of these horses as long as an adopter is willing to put time and effort into it. Uh, he was once wild and roamed on public lands and he's gentled and trained and here he is. <laughs> Well, he certainly has a lot to say about all of this. You know, now he's nine years old yes. and he's not up for adoption, but these horses are anywhere from a year, to, hi there, you can talk if you'd like, <laughs> to about five years old. They certainly are. Again, we have yearlings, mares, geldings, adults, horses. Uh, we also have 40 burrows coming in, so just a really good selection. If someone wants to adopt, we just need them to have a really good corral to put them in. Yeah, there are some requirements. Not everyone can just walk up and you know trailer up a horse and take mm -hmm. off. We do have an application because we want to make sure they've thought about what it takes to care and provide provide care and feed for these animals. So a minimum of 400 square feet, which is like a 20 by 20 with access to shelter and food and water. Six foot tall for adults and five foot for yearling. Once they're gentle, they can go in any pasture the adopter feels comfortable. You know, they're beautiful animals and every year the Bureau of Land Management goes around and they actually round up these wild horses from public lands. We certainly do. So we have around 98,000 wild horses and burrows roaming on public lands and we have room for 26,000. So we are overpopulated. So we gather off a certain number each year, like you said, and offer them up to the public for adoption. So these adoptions are really important uh, so we can keep gathering and placing animals into private care. You know, it's a great program, and there's a little incentive that the Bureau of Land Management is also offering for those who are interested as far as adoption tomorrow and Saturday. Do. So the adoption fees begin at $25, and then we'll have folks fill out the, some paperwork, and we have a $1,000 incentive. So the adopter will earn a $500 incentive in the first about 100 days, and the second $500 after the vets looked at the animal a year later. So a nice incentive for folks to adopt. Now, again, these are wild animals. I mean, one to five years old. They've not been bridled, they've not been saddled, they've not been worked with. So this is, you know, a first opportunity for an individual. If they want to break a horse, if they want to use them for family, for other purposes, no bad habits. <laughs> no bad habits. It certainly is a great opportunity for someone who wants to adopt an animal and gentle it. it again, it just takes time and effort. Gentle it and train it for whatever they prefer. A discipline, a trail riding animal, a companion, just whatever the adopter's looking for. Well, they are beautiful animals. Bob is absolutely gorgeous. I, you know, I would take him in the studio, but my Bob might not want to share the time. Hi there. How are you? Isn't he pretty? And you said this year you really have a beautiful display. I mean, they're a little fancier than usual. They certainly are. So this year we have a lot of pintos. We have some grays and roans coming in. We have photos on our BLM Wild Horse and Burrow okay. Facebook page. And again, we'll be at the Taylor County Expo tomorrow. We open at 10 a.m. and the adoption begins at noon. All right. Crystal, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for bringing Bob and joining us. I love that he had a lot to say about the whole program as well. <laughs> um, we're going to put the information up there if you guys want to come out and take part of this. It's at the Gutina, that's at the Taylor County Expo. It's tomorrow, Friday, opening the doors at 10 a.m., the auction from noon to 6, and then Saturday from 8 a.m. to noon. For more information, you can call 866-468-7826. That number's on your screen. Or you can go to blm.gov. I wish I had a treat for you, Bob. I'm going to have to come see you tomorrow. All right.